Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part one and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews a couple of times in the past one year. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called activity with four different columns, player ID, device ID, event date, games played, and these are the data types. The combined columns player ID and event date is the primary key of this table. This table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. We are asked to write the SQL query to report the first login date for each player. The order of the result doesn't matter. So let's go through this example. So basically, if you see for player ID one, right? So what is the first login day? First of March, 2016. For two, there is only one date. Uh, so obviously this is the first login day, 25th of June, 2017. For player ID three, second of March, 2016 is the first login date. And that is what we need to return. So this is a very simple question. All we need to do is uh, we, uh, we can go two routes here, right? We can use group by or what we can do is we can use window functions. Uh, but in this particular case, usually what happens when we use window functions, like they work pretty well and everything here also window functions will uh, work pretty well. So if we create partitions by player ID, and then uh, order by event date and then take the first value and then return it and store it in a common table expression and then we select the distinct player IDs, right? So, but that is a bigger route, right? So the more easier and short, uh, shorter way of doing it is just group by your player IDs and then find the minimum of the event date, right? So for each of the groups of our player ID two, there would be two uh, event dates in the group, the minimum of which is first mass 2016. So you return that similarly for player ID two, similar for all the player IDs, right? So what we can do is from this table called activity, we can group by the player ID and then return the player ID as well as the minimum value from the event date column and we can alias it as first login right so minimum of the event date would be the first login and these diff for different players it will return the first login dates right so we can go ahead and run this and see what happens so yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem. Again, if you want to go to, uh, through the window function route, let me know in the comment section how the solution will look like. I just mentioned the window function as well because this can be done in, uh, in that way as well. Uh, that is like very useful in certain conditions but here since we only need you know for each player id what is the first login date uh, we can even you know uh, go this route of group by and do this question very successfully right so yeah, let me know if this video is useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video